NFC Interdivision Battle, matching the St. Louis Cardinals and the Detroit Lions. Hi, everybody. I'm Frank Lieber, along with Johnny Morris, and I'll tell you something. Lions are 2-0, and Cardinals 0-2. A lot of questions being asked. Is Detroit that good? Are the Cardinals that bad? Well, Frank, I can let you know maybe in about three hours, but it really is a crucial game because the Lions are 2-0, and but they're coming home for the first time, playing before 80,000 hometown fans. They want to do well, but for the Cardinals, it's even more crucial. They're 0-2. If they lose today and then have to go home and play Philadelphia, they could be in a big hole that they might not be able to climb out of. Cardiac Cardinals haven't been one of the close ones of late. They have lost a couple of very close ball games, including last week in San Francisco. This was a very big run, a sweep by Paul Hofer, which enabled the 49ers to tie the score. A very big play in the game. We talked about it with Jim Hattifin, the Cardinal coach. Well, Frank, we were in a third and one situation at that time. Uh, they ran a sweep. It was a good call on their part. Our people were not expecting the run and didn't react properly to it. I understand that uh, you might have cause for celebration later today. Birthday time? Well, it happens to be my birthday, but the only way that it can be any kind of celebration is that we get a win here today. Spoken like a man who is 0-2, but this Sims, he has set this town on its ear. Oh, he's something else, isn't he? You know, everybody knows that he can run with the football. He did it at Oklahoma. But now he's got into the passing game. Last week against the Green Bay Packers, they threw a short pass over the middle to Billy Sims, and watch what he does with it. He makes a great grab and then turns on the speed over the middle and goes up the sideline for an 87-yard touchdown. He hasn't been noted as a pass receiver, but he is going to become more of a part of it. And I talked with Monty Clark about the future of Billy Sims in the passing game. Uh, the thing that's been a little bit different for him is there's a whole new world of thinking involved in the adjustments necessary in the passing game, and that's taken a little bit of time. I don't think there's ever been any question about him being able to catch the ball, his hands, and that part of it. It's just the adjustments that are required and the fine-tuning type things that are necessary in a passing game. Here's a look at the Cardinals' offensive line. Patchwork now. They're missing three regulars since last season. Bob Young is out of their course, failed the physical. Keith Worthman, they lost just this week with a knee operation. Cardinal receivers and backs. Anderson scheduled to start, but keep in mind he is operating with a mild shoulder separation. Francisco, Mel Gray, Pat Tilly, the wide receivers, both are wide to the right. Very first play from scrimmage results in the point sack. As John Mendenhall made that last sack, Al Baker, of course, an all-pro after a long holdout, Back in the lineup again, Stan White obtained from the Colts in the offseason. And their veteran defensive secondary, though they have moved a couple of people around this year. Opening moments of the ball game. Wayne Morris in motion. Pitch to Anderson. Run out of bounds near the 30. He took Eddie Murray out with him, and he comes up hurting. Very first play from scrimmage. And he may have taken a belt on that shoulder. Third 29. Billy wide to the right side. Mel Gray is split to the left. Hart again under pressure. Normally a pretty good receiver, but Theotis Brown, the former UCLA star, dropped that one. It was a little hot. But running him down, it was Nelson, number 38. Lee Nelson, who was there first. Here's that young Detroit offensive line. Only one man, Bollinger, has as much as four years' experience. The rest of them threes and twos. Tribute to Monty Clark. Lions receivers and backs. Dexter Bussey, of course, kind of the unsung hero now with Sims in there. But he does a fine job complimenting Billy Sims. They alternate wide receivers as we look at the St. Louis Cardinal defensive front seven. They play that three-man front with Dawson, the nose tackle. Baker is a rookie in there. And the secondary. I think Roger Worley is going to play forever. Sims to break a run for you, and that's a tremendous advantage. Third down, a little less than five for the first down, closer to four. Flag is down as Danielson has trouble getting the ball away and is buried back at the 18-yard line. The season, a lot of penalties, a lot of turnovers and fumbles. Well, it was Anderson who blitzed to his offside. Sims is going to become the first man to gain 100 yards rushing in his first three games as a pro. Third and four. Danielson back into the pocket. Pointing downfield, finally gets rid of the ball. That's good for the first down at the 50-yard line. That's the rookie. 
Mike Freedy out of the University of Indiana. And tackle as he got around. Detroit on the move at the St. Louis Cardinal 40-yard line, operating out of the split backfield. Dexter Bussey. Uh, probably gave this young team a big lift. Even though the Rams weren't quite up to par, it's got to be a great psychological lift. Third down and two as the Lions try to keep the drive going. The fake to Sims. He lays it out there, and it's not caught at the 10-yard line. Ulysses Morris. Murray, this will be a 49-yard attempt. He's made one from 52. He's made one from 43. Those have been his two longest. He's seven out of seven on the year. This one is no good. Murray's first miss on the season. That looked very friendly down there right now, John. He might not be later. Uh oh, there's a shot to the chops. Two on one. That's not fair. That's right. St. Louis ball, first and ten from the 31 yard line after the missed field goal attempt. Anderson is back in there and on the carry going wide is run out of bounds at the 33 yard line by Ken Fantetti, the middle linebacker. And a little vocal over there on the far side. You see Bubba Baker, number 60 of the Lions, very much in the middle of that. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, 57 on the defense. That's a first down. Wayne Morris in motion for St. Louis. Hart back to throw it to Anderson at the 50, 45. Lost something to get there. And Detroit recovers. Walt Williams, number 21, got on the football. Lions nothing and the Cardinals nothing. Danielson wants to put it up, does. Completes it to Scott over the middle. Wide receiver Freddie Scott. Both wide receivers are off to the left. As Danielson calls the signals, it's Billy Sims. And Sims came within a step of breaking it. He gets the first down at the 37-yard line. But it looked like he slipped and fell. Let's watch the right guard, Russ Bollinger. They're number 73, and he follows Dexter Bussey, but Bollinger got the key block, and Sims almost broke it. Lions on the move from the Cardinal 37, a blitz. Danielson has time to throw it, passes incomplete. Broken up over on the far side. Mike Freedy, number 86, this 37-yard line. Freddie Scott in motion across the backfield. He's looking at Scott. Danielson up the middle, big hole. Freddy down to the 28-yard line. Close to a first down, but I don't believe he quite made it. Ken Green, number 37, up on the stop. And that's why Danielson is a little bit unhappy because he's a little bit short of the first. Third down. They need two for the first down. At the St. Louis 28-yard line. Sims trying to get outside, dives for the first down, and he'll be close. And, of course, Murray will try it. He's missed one, his first of the year. 45-yard attempt. And he misses this one. Maybe we jinxed him. Yards, his first three professional games. Jim Hart has a chance to move up in the NFL record book today. We'll tell you about that in just a moment. First and ten. Hart doing what he does so well. Completing a pass to Tilly at the 30-yard line and up to the 34 down. St. Louis needing three for the first down with the ball at the 34 yard line. In their end of the field, no score. Otis Anderson driving hard and driven out of bounds at the 38 yard line. That'll be very close to a first down. It's 19 seconds left to play in the opening period. Tilly wide to the right side. Morris and Anderson, the second backs. Anderson to about the 42-yard line, wrapped up by William Gay, number 79. Second down, five. Cardinals operating from their 42-yard line. Again, both receivers wide to the right. Morris on the draw. And Wayne Morris is out to the 46. They needed to net the 48 for the first down. He's a couple of yards shy. Stan White, 52. And Fantetti, 57. Boy. Third and two. Mel Gray, the speedster in motion. Jimmy Hart drops it over the middle. That's one guy you want to stop before he puts it in high gear. Mel Gray, the speedster. Mel going wide to the left side at the top of your screen. Tilly to the right. The 
first out of your picture on the bottom. First down, Cardinals of their 40 points into Detroit territory near the 46-yard line before he stacked up the entire 1979 season. On second and six, it is Anderson. Big hole. First down and then some. As he catapults to the 37-yard line. Second and ten. Gray in motion. Big rush. Hart avoids it. Gets the pass away and completes it to Tilly at the 30-yard line. They've converted 54% of the time. That's outstanding. Gray in motion. Brown really alive. Here at the Silver Dome. Hart on third down. Completes it for the first down. As he goes to Dave Steef, number 84. The Detroit 23, first down. Anderson is back in there again, along with Morris. Hart in trouble. And sack back at the 35-yard line. Mendenhall, 64, and Baker, number 60. Defense offside, number 60. 60. First down. Well, that'll help you to get to the pass here, won't it? Boys, the setbacks. Otis Anderson up the middle. To the 11. That's a first down. Situation. Third down. From the 8-yard line. Hart under pressure gets it away and complete to Tilly. And no flag. Tilly looking around for a flag, thought he might have been interfered with. But the officials say no, and the Cardinals will have to settle for a field goal attempt by Steve Little. And he has been somewhat erratic. After being a top draft choice a couple of years ago, Worley will hold. This will be a 25-yard attempt. And he missed it. Score as we reach the midway mark of the second period. Hart sideline throw. Tilly is wide open at the 40-yard line and out of bounds at the 45. Second down, seven. Anderson. Stopped at the 46-yard line of the Lions by Stan White, number 52. 52 for the first down. Drills it is picked up by Stan White. And White is dropped at the 47-yard line. Second turnover. Given up by the Cardinals. Mark wanted to go in the flat. Then he saw Tilly and Stan White watched the quarterback and came in great hands just like a receiver. Still nothing, nothing. That's first and ten after that turnover at their 47. Danielson to Billy Sims. Sims to the 50. to the 43. 10 yards. Okay, the screen to Sims. You even see the tackle pulling out there on this quick screen. Dorney's out in front, number 70, throws his block, and Sims almost broke that. Steve Neal's made the tackler. So the Cardinals have held him well in check. Daniel Sims been having to go to more of the passing game. That'll be a first as Sims crashes to the 41-yard line. First and 10, Lions, St. Louis 41. Danielson, big hole for Bussy, 30, 25. Dexter Bussy is down to the 22-yard line. Very nicely. And the key was Russ Bollinger, number 73, as he came out on the screen and kicked out Green there. You'll see there at the block was to the left of your screen, carrying it one-handed. Bussy goes down and finally knocked down by number 23, Ben Stone. Not a football team at all. Apparently that's what the Vikings are doing. Now first and 20. Lines at the 29 of St. Louis. Gary Danielson back to throw it. Blitz was on, but he got the pass away and completed it to Bussy at the 22-yard line. Distance to the goal, which will move it to the 11-yard line. Let's find out why. Personal foul, 57, roughing the passer. That's a first down. Field. Sims looking for an opening. In front now. Danielson looking in the end zone, and it is no good. Intended for Scott, and again Collier was back there with him. 
And the boos rained down from above as the fans thought that pass interference should have been called. Of St. Louis missed a few moments ago. Hipple puts it down. It is good. So the Lions are on the board with 7.48 left to play in the first half. Detroit leading St. Louis 3 to nothing. St. Louis Cardinals at their 20-yard line. They've turned it over twice. Once on a fumble, once on an interception. And Hart is sacked. Ball goes loose, but the play had been whistled dead. Dave Purifoy on the rush, number 75. To uh, today's game, and uh, what is that, two or three today? That's right. I think one was erased because of a penalty. Swider doing the putting. Arnold is deep. John Arnold at the 43, 45, 50. And down to the St. Louis 43-yard line. So Detroit comes out of it with excellent field position. Baker making the stop for the Cardinals. Off the St. Louis specialty team. Lions first and 10 at the St. Louis 43-yard line. David Hill in motion. Tight end screen. And he's run out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Six minutes left to play in the first half. To the 30-yard line. First down, Detroit. Well, he caught three in four years, so what do you, what do you expect? <laughs> At Oklahoma, anyway. Third down, seven. Danielson back to throw. Fires over the middle. He's got Scott at the 10-yard line. And Freddie Scott is down at the seven. First down, goal-to-go -go Lions. Is split to the right. Danielson calling the signals. The give is to Sims. Tries the left side. He's home. Touchdown. However, we may have had a flag. We do have a flag from Ben Wright. Holding number 76. Carl Baldeschweiler. Goal to go. Rick Kane has come into the lineup replacing Sims. And Horace King is also in the Detroit backfield. Lines from the 13-yard line of St. Louis trying to set up a screen. Oh, they do so. It is King, and King goes in for a touchdown. Lions have a 10-0 advantage. After neither team scored in the first period of play, Detroit definitely has taken command. Flags down as Hart drills Tilly at the 35-yard line. That would be a first down were it not for the penalty marker. Jim Hart, he passed for 265 yards last week against San Francisco, unloads it to Gray at the 40, 30, foot race, 20. Williams trying to head him off, and Gray has scored. Big block by Timmy downfield as Hart threaded the needle. There were people all around there, but he caught Mel Gray. Which was a legal block, very close as to whether he clipped him or not. There was the block. He tried to get his head to the outside. To me, as Mel Gray went in for the touchdown, the St. Louis Cardinals are back in this football game. That's the play in the first half. And we've got a ball game. The Lions 10 and the Cardinals 7. Crowd of 80,000 in the Silver Dome stunned by that touchdown. Of St. Louis pass over the middle to Sims. Look out. Got the first at the 39-yard line. Oh, you get it to him in the open field. And it's murder. Eric Williams, 55 on the stop. He just brought him out of the backfield, and it's hard to believe, I know the Oklahoma style of offense, that this man caught only three passes in three years of high school and four years of, of college football. It's just hard to believe. He had... Interesting first half of football. Scoreless in the first period, then things opened up a bit in the second. And we're at halftime with the Lions leading the Cardinals 10 to 7. Back in a moment. Not the oldest, because the Cardinals have a 26-year-old rookie. Rush Brown, the young defensive end. Here's Sims. Trying to get around Roger Worley, number 22, and maintain his balance, and he couldn't quite do it. The Detroit Lions just caved the Cardinal left side of the defense there. Watch this. as It's kind of like a cross. You see one back go one way, the other the other way, and they really caved him in, and Worley really got kind of faked out here, but he got a hand on him, and Mr. Sims could not quite maintain his balance. <laughs> Dexter Bussey hurtling over a couple of would-be tacklers across the 30-yard line. 
and picks up the first down at the 32. Cardinals at their 36. Again, Gray in motion. Hart gets it away. Mel Gray at the 43-yard line. Not quite enough for the first down as he was shoved out of bounds on the near sideline. Williams came over quickly. Ball is at the 43-yard line. St. Louis end of the field. Wayne Morris and Otis Anderson, the running backs behind Hart. They give it to O.J. He's got the first and more as he catapults into Lions territory and is finally six yard line. Going for the equalizer here. Anderson breaks to the outside. Couldn't quite get to the corner. And he was pinned. Weaver wouldn't let him go, number 59. And then Bradley, number 27, came up to finish him off. The line, 47-yard line. Hart. Oh. Woodcock, number 77. Pace of this football game, which was up in the second period, is quieted down again here in the third quarter. Sims. Driving across the 30 out to the 31 yard line. Patient it sends too. Second and three from the 30. Danielson for Scott. Fine catch. And then took the punishment from Collier who belted him as he caught the football. There's no linebacker in front. You see the clean zone through there. The ball was high. Collier puts the hit on, but a nice grab by Scott for the first down and, and Danielson took his punishment after. Second and 10. Lions at their 48. Scott in motion, a lot of pressure. Flag down. And finally, Jankowski comes up with a sack of Danielson at the 40-yard line. Six minutes, seven seconds remaining in the quarter. Again, the blitz, and they jam it up good as Sims gets the handoff and has no running room whatsoever. This line as we play in the third period. Jim Hart back to throw for St. Louis and completing yet another one. This to Doug Marsh, the rookie tight end from Michigan who is the Cardinals' leading receiver coming into this game. He caught nine in the first two games, including seven last week. Lions oh. with the blitz, and Anderson broke up the middle and picks up the first down out to the 32-yard line. Now, that shows you what happens when the blitz does work. Hart, some confusion there, but he gets the pass oh. away to Tilly. And again, Williams seemed to stumble on the play. And by the time he recovered, Tilly had caught the football. And the Cardinals have another first down at the 46 of Detroit. Second and seven. Anderson trying to break it outside, but the blue shirts are there and won't let him go. Fine coverage by James Hunter, number 28, coming up from the right cornerback position to make the stop. Uh -oh. Otis Brown had split the seam there. He was right between Allen, number 40, the defensive back, and ahead of Charlie Weaver. They explode in this football game. Somebody's going to come up with a very, very big play that may turn it around. Hasn't happened yet. Danielson falling down as he executed the handoff, but he got it away nevertheless to Dexter Bussey, who carried it out to the 24-yard line. Score 10-7 Detroit as we play in the third period. Danielson under pressure. Flushed out of the pocket, and he is sacked back at the 15-yard line. Been so devastating against Chicago today. They give us to Sims. Sims has got the first down at the 31-yard line. Sims, who has scored five touchdowns in his first two games to lead the league in scoring. That's Sims. And that's a play that the Lions used very successfully against Green Bay. They call it a halfback reverse. And he carries it out to the 38, picks up eight on the play. It'll be third down and two for the first down. So call it third and three. Oh, and they get it. Dexter Bussey. Out to the 45-yard line. Second first down in this drive for the Lions. It's the last two meetings, one in 1975. And one in 1978. Of course, these two clubs don't play that often. Reverse. Leonard Thompson, 50. Down to the 47-yard line of the St. Louis Cardinals. Not enough for the first down. Which would indicate probably a run. And they get the first down as Billy Sims back in the lineup. Flashes across the 45, down to the 44. No score in either the first or the third. Danielson 
with a nice fake, goes over the middle of Thompson. First down at the 28. Ken Green, number 37 on the stop. He goes down after the fake of the run, comes across the middle right in traffic, and Danielson puts it right on the numbers. Good play, Ken Green with the tackle, along with Collier. First. Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, tightening up. There's the man that scored the only touchdown of the football game, Horace King, on that last handoff. From the 18-yard line of the St. Louis Cardinals. Sims. I don't know. I don't believe he made it. And this is a situation where the Cardinal linebackers, everybody's going to have to take a little guess. Billy Sims. Let's see if he got it. It'll be close. Hit as he crossed the line of scrimmage, but Sims, who is mighty strong, deceptively so, weighs 208 pounds. The linebacker who made the contact, but he couldn't prevent Sims from falling forward enough to get the first down for the Lions. Rick Kane, down to the 15, to the 14, to the 13-yard line. as number 61, Homer Elias, came across and threw the key block and knocked two men out of the play, and Sims High steps it in for the touchdown. Watch number 61, there's the key block, the pulling left guard. He hits Green, he hits Carney, and then the other Mr. Green misses the tackle, and Sims takes it on in. Boy, can he high step it. It's a little breathing room. 17 to seven lines will return to the Silver Dome. After this word from your local station. Jim Hart. Trap back at the 14-yard line. Big rush that time by William Gay, number 79, for 102 yards. Now the official yardage gives Sims one less than we gave you. Well, I think Mr. Sims deserves a little bit of a rest. I thought thought he came up with a great line at their rookie camp. Each rookie has to introduce himself, and he said, hi, I'm the guy that's the reason you're not getting any raises this year. 16, extra wide receiver Dave Steef is in there for the St. Louis Cardinals. Hart back at his five. Sacked at the three-yard line, and the Cardinals will have to punt it out of the back of their end zone. It hurt. Hart just could not find anybody downfield as they did another twist. Woodcock comes by Brad Oates and gets in by Otis Anderson and puts the clamps on Jim Hart for another sack for Woodcock who was supposed to have sore ribs and it looked like Otis didn't give it too good of a effort there on 12, 13 yards. And with the Cardinal line in tight, you gotta figure that Detroit's gonna get good field position. Arnold chasing this one to the far sideline, takes a St. Louis hop, fielded at the 50. John Arnold to the 45. Still on his feet at the 40, run out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Field goal situation would be a 50-yard kick, but he's made one from 52. Sims. First down at the 23-yard line. See him come in and collide with linebacker Carney, I believe it was, right here and just spins right out of it. It was Eric Williams that he came out of, and finally, Green brings him down, but not before. Billy Sims gets another first down for Detroit, and that's a real big play now. Horace King, who scored the first line's touchdown to the 18. Big timeout. There it is. First three games. He did not get the six. He got three. It'll be fourth down. And now the Cardinals going to call time. His first two misses of the year. Little frosting on the cake. That makes it a 20 to 7 Detroit lead with a minute and 49 seconds left to play in the game. And again, we'll be back at the Pontiac Silverdome right after this. It's very deep. Normally it's the straightaway kickers like Mosley from Washington who get that great height. And watch him here. 
Uh, well, there's a line drive. Boy, there goes our hole. Shame of Cardinals that. lost it. Free football. Who got it? St. Louis comes up with the ball at the 32-yard line. The recovery was made by Randy Love, number 40. Love missed it the first time around, and then the ensuing scramble, he recovered the fumble. Cowboys trying to bounce back after Denver took care of him last week. Theotis Brown on the receiving end of that pass from Hart. He picks up a first down out to the 44-yard line. Pat Tilly in motion. Tilly on the reception. Oh, that's a first down as the Cardinals move it to the 43-yard line of the Detroit Lions, which is under one minute and counting. Little flare out to Brown, who runs out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Hart has thrown one interception out of the first half, picked off by Stan White. Over the middle it goes. Dave Steef, number 84, was the intended receiver. PS doubleheader from Texas Stadium. Third down and five. Over the middle, Tilly at the 30-yard line. Tilly had a first down by about three yards, then moved back. I think he still got it, but he's going to be very close now. Lions of the prevent defense all dropping back. Passes completed to Mel Gray. You call that one, Johnny. They found him at the 15-yard line. And he couldn't get out of bounds. Has come into the lineup. Hart to Harrell. Harrell to the 10, to the 5. And Willard Harrell did not get in. The game is over. Run out of bounds at the one-yard line. The Detroit Lions have beaten the St. Louis Cardinals 20 to 7. And are 3-0 and, oh, and could very well be atop the NFC Central Division.